you can still learn computer science at Bits Palani even if you have a low Bits as well. Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Adit. I'm a second year student at Bits Uwa and I'm doing a dual degree in Mathematics and Electronics and Instrumentation which is ENI or EIE, whatever you want to call it. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the dual degree program at Bits Palani in like detail and I'll be covering some things that you probably aren't aware of which I know now because I've spent one and a half years in Bits. So without further ado, uh, let's get right into it. I'm going to break this video into two main like topics. Number one is like full details about the curriculum and other such stuff about dual degree. Then is the pros and cons and at the end it's your verdict at the end of the video. Do stick around till the end because then you'll get like a complete picture of what's going on. Okay. So starting with the first part is the overall curriculum and stuff. So when you enter bits with this dual degree thing, you only know your MSc branch. Okay. So when I entered in October 2022, I only knew that my MSc branch is going to be mathematics. Okay. Then at the end of your first year, depending on your CGPA, you get to choose a BE degree, a Bachelor of Engineering degree. Now there are cutoffs for these degrees, for example, and the order of these cutoffs is CS. EC, REEE, ENI, uh, Mechanical, Chemical, Civil, Manufacturing. Since Goa campus doesn't have civil and manufacturing, you, you don't have those. And the lowest is chemical. Now, at the end of your first year, you get these, uh, you get the option to pick these degrees. And according to your CGPA, one is allotted to you. Okay. CGPA and your preference. So some people who I know, they didn't want to do these circuital branches like EC, EEE, ENI. So they went directly to MEC or they went for chemical. Or, some people who could clear CS still took EC or triple E because they wanted to do something. Depends on you and depends on your CGPA. Okay. Then in your second year, all your courses, oh sorry, first year courses are same for everyone. No matter if you're doesn't matter if you're a single degree CS or a dual degree maths or a single degree civil or whatever. Okay. So first year courses are all the same. Second year, it's all about your uh, MSc degree. So in this case, for me, all my courses this year are mathematics. Okay. Uh, in your third year, it's a mixture of your MSc degree and your BE degree. So for me, next year will be mathematics plus some fundamental electronics courses. Okay. In your fourth year, it's completely electronics. So for me, ENI courses because uh, in in the circular branches too, the second year, like for single degree people, is the same. Okay. But in the third year, it changes. So like for me, it's ENI. So my fourth year will be only ENI courses. And then your fifth year is like an internship type thing in which you're not on campus. So you spend only four years on campus and the fifth year is sort of like an internship thing. It's called PS2, more on that in a different way. So this is the overall curriculum and structure of the dual degree. You know, it has its own benefits and stuff. But one special thing that I want you to know is you get these two degrees at uh, by spending only four years on campus. So even though it's a five year degree, you need to spend only four years on campus and the fifth year is uh, depending on where you get placed for internship and stuff, which gives us internship by the way and it's CGPA based. So depending on all that and depending on a lot of other things, uh, you get to spend that either at your home or in Bangalore or wherever you get placed. Now coming to the pros and cons. The pros of a dual degree are A, the most obvious is you get a second shot at computer science. A lot of people who I know uh, were getting EC, triple E single degree, but they chose to take economics so that they can do economics plus computer science, okay? And this is very lucrative for quant, for other finance roles, blah, blah, blah. Number two is you get two degrees in five years and technically four years. So people, you know, it's like better if you want to say, it's, you don't have to do an MSc. Like I don't want to do an MS now because I already have an MSc here. So you're getting that master's degree as well from the same college uh, in four years on campus plus one year in touch. Third pro is if you want to go into research, a lot of people go into research through these dual degrees. So for example, if I'm doing, because I'm doing an MSc in mathematics and a lot of my courses are like abstract mathematics, like random stuff, okay. Some of the courses I absolutely don't like. I won't say hate, but like, huh. But it's super useful for research going forward. Okay, a lot of people do research. They have won like grants and patents and blah, blah, blah. So research really plus plus. Another pro is because you're getting these, uh, the whole fifth year is an internship, right? So you have more work experience if you want to apply for an MBA or if you want to get placed at a better company and stuff like that. Single degree people have only like six months of this internship. It's called PS2. Uh, single degree people have six months of it, we have a year of it, so advantage plus plus. But, uh, you know, every good thing has a silver lining, every bad thing, whatever. There are some cons to dual degree too. The main con, one of the main cons is uh, the first year there's a lot of pressure on you because you need to get a good CGPA so that you can get CS. Like most people want CS uh, in the dual degree. Some ex exceptions are there, but yeah, most people want to get CS, so they want to clear that CGPA cutoff criteria. Now, about the cutoff criteria, in Goa campus, the top 95 uh, dual degree students get CS, get the chance to take CS, okay? 
So uh, about the cutoff, it's really like a relative. So if you get into the top 95, you're getting CS. You have the chance to get CS. Okay. Then secondly, there's like uh, since the first year also there's a lot of pressure. Third year because it's a mix of your MSc and BE courses. Again, there's a lot of uh, pressure and stress and stuff. And most of these courses uh, in the third year have labs, have these tutorials at 8 a.m. Every day there's an 8 a.m. tutorial. You have a lab. You need to spend like three hours there. And third year is also when you usually have your positions of responsibility for clubs and departments. So like uh, president of the college, vice president of the college, and all is in third year. Uh, also for like the e cell uh, president and stuff become, is a, is in the third year and most of the class is in the third year. So the third year gets really really hectic for dual degree students. Okay. Another con is that uh, like single degree students don't have to max out their credits in every semester. They can take like some credits or uh, some semesters as light. Uh, maybe not have a lot of courses, but dual degree students have to max out almost every semester because you need to finish those you know requirements to get your degree and. Uh, this gets pretty hectic sometimes because throughout the whole degree you only have like three or four empty slots where you can you know uh, cut down and not max out in one semester so that again takes a toll a bit of a toll on people uh, and another con is that you can't do a minor uh, as a dual degree student without usually taking a summer term so because of this again maxing out semesters you can't take those courses to do a minor unless you do a summer term or unless you're a math student and you're, you're a math plus CS student and you want to do data science because Data science is just mass plus CS, which is being like something additional on the side. So that's it for now. This is everything that I know about the dual degree system. Uh, if there's any other questions you have, uh, put them in the comments or DM on Instagram or wherever you want. I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, all the best if you're preparing for JE with all that. Uh, my resources and all are in the description. All the best. You got this. See you in the next video.